My love for basketball has always been there. My mom was a coach, so she would always take me to the gym with her. She was big on basketball, so she'd always have it playing on TV. You know, something that was always there in my life. So when I was 12, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. That's probably like the most pivotal moment in my life. Before, I feel like you're so carefree. You could just eat whatever and not think about it. I remember crying, like, I felt so bad for myself. And it's crazy to think about like how much it made me like realize how blessed I am to even like be able to be diagnosed or be able to have insulin to like keep me alive and healthy. There was never a point where I, I was like, oh, I'm diabetic, I can't do this. And my mom, I feel like she was really an important person. She was like, no, you could do whatever. She was like, you might have to do it differently, but you can still do it. And it's really helped me be balanced, helped me play like how anyone else plays. When Janin was recruited to transfer here, the coaches were aware of her type 1 diabetes, and so we had a sit down so that I could make sure that the coaching staff was prepared and to make sure that we had everything in place so that she could be successful here. She's, I would say, the most important person for me here. She checks on me so much. She really is like my second mom. So, which arm? This one? This one, yeah. So how are you today? I feel good. Have you done your numbers yet? She wants to make sure that younger kids don't feel like this is something that's going to limit them, that they can still be an athlete, they can still go on and play Division I. One of the things that I really like about her is that she is so open about being a type 1 diabetic, but also the fact that there are people struggling to even get their basic medical supplies for being diabetic, and that's something that she's really passionate about, and I love that about her. Shannon is very healthy. She does a lot of extra workout. She does a lot of conditioning. She's been playing basketball most of her life and she hasn't let being a type one diabetic stand in her way. But for the most part, she's just like every single other player on the court. My teammates are like my sisters. I really feel like we care about each other and we care about each other's success. Did it go viral? Did it? <laughs> <laughs> now we're like best friends. Yeah. <laughs> Did you lift already? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like she has my back, I feel like a lot. She's always there for me. At home, you're with them. When you come to school, you're with them. It's fun, you know? It's like you're living with your family or something. <laughs> oh my God. I try to do the same thing every day. I just stick to a schedule or plan ahead for like class. I always get fruit. Fruit's my thing. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you have to really be prepared with your meals, with your snacks. It's good to have stuff like this so you can uh, get snacks if you need it. It has a low glycemic index, it says that. So that's supposed to be good for like your blood sugar. Those are my favorite. <laughs> My family isn't well off, so having a way to support getting education was the goal for me. Because without basketball, I don't think my mom would have been able to like put me through college. So I just feel like blessed to be in this position, honestly. And like, you have so much at UCR that you can use for your future. I feel like sharing your story is important. Everyone has a platform to spread awareness about the issues that they face. It kind of like warms my heart just to know People are interested in it or they care about knowing more. I want them to say, like, oh, she has diabetes and she's playing basketball. I mean, if that's like me being a role model, then yeah, but I just want them to know that they can do the same thing. So I feel like it's important to just share it with the world. <laughs>